Welcome to Wally Bar, and today I want to talk about my cask and my powdered resin wood glue. And it's, um, well, the fact, is it dangerous? Does it contain carcinogens? Is it as dangerous as people keep telling me? They keep telling me I've got a weird out and put your goggles on so you don't enter through your eyes and all that. So I thought I'd do a little test. Now I bought a little meter, and what I've actually done, I've actually put it in my sack of cask and wine. <laughs> Which seems a bit extreme, and so I thought to myself, if it's going to, um, well, show up and that it has got formaldehyde or carcinogens in there well quite frankly that's the best place i thought i could put it it's a bit over the top and it's probably not a fair representation of the space that you're working in or you're living in um but it's going to give you an idea or a fairly good indication whether or not it can have uh, well high levels so for instance i take it out of my bag here and i put it into my vessel i start mixing it up and it's floating around in the air and quite frankly i could potentially be breathing in that's why i wear those but what is formaldehyde? Well, formaldehyde, if we come over here, dee -dee 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 -dee, I'll put it on my screen there, look, see? I don't know, I'll read it to you, I don't know if you can see it. Formaldehyde is an organic air pollutant containing one atom of carbon, one atom of oxygen, and two atoms of hydrogen. Mm, hydrogen. It's a chemical formula, HCHO. So if you see that on your little meter, you know it's, it's registering for formaldehyde. And formaldehyde is one of the TVOCs, which is vol volatile organic compounds. And when you see TVOC, it means the total. So that'd be like, for instance, if you've got a meter, that'll tell you what the total TVOC is. And that encompasses lots of different um, organic pollutants. But the one we're interested in in this case, it's formaldehyde, which is HCHO. Now, what they say here is, this is by the EPA, and uh, formaldehyde is present in outdoor air, but indoor air formaldehyde contains concentrations much higher because of the materials, for instance, our homes are made from. The plastics, like the formicas. Um, it's been put in all sorts of things, including glue, and that's what it says here. Now, the, the kind of wooden products they're talking about are particle board, plywood, and all that sort of stuff. And these manufactured woods products include particle board, plywood, Oreo strand board, fibre board, and similar items used in walls, floors, furniture, cabinets, doors, and modern manufactured wood beams because of the glues that are used to um, bond these products together. So, um, what we can do to actually work out whether or not this is actually dangerous to us to see what the carcinogen levels are. So what I've actually done is, like I said before, I've actually put it inside this bag and sealed it up. Hence that on there looks so. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put my mask back on because I don't really want to be breathing in carcinogens on this, I really, really have to. And I'll show you the meter reading on there, compare it to what I've got in my little scale on here to see whether or not the levels of this, the maximum levels of this potential carcinogen, which is cascomite, or sometimes it's sold as resin type and various other brands and polyvine. And um, let's just see what the results are. So I'll put this on for a second. I'm not going to say a lot because I just sound all muffled. Have a go, Dry your eyes out. You don't want dry eye syndrome either, with the powder drying all the moisture out of your eyes. So let's have a look. What does this meter say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Right. Now, let's just have a look at that. I need my glasses on. Right. <laughs> right, there we go. That is the meter reading. Uh, at the moment, as you can see, if I could tip up a little bit, and the levels, according to that, are way too high. Now, that's f uh, the TVOC, which is the total volatile uh, compounds, um, it's going down a bit now, it's 12, and the other one was 1.9 odd originally. It's gone down already. See, as I took it out, the air quality is obviously improved and what is inside the bag, and it's going down. So the levels were way over what they say in here, and they are in the serious... They, they were in, <coughs> in the serious uh, range. Now, the serious range here is saying uh, for HCHO would be anything from uh, 1.001 to 1.9 
nine nine as you see the level's gone down but a minute ago as you saw that was very very high and tvoc which is saying it's um 3.001 to 6 to uh 6.001 to 12 and that was right up within 15 that's really high so i would say don't stick your head in the bag of cascamite powdered resin wood glue because it contains high levels of uh what well, tvoc and h i'll keep forgetting HCHO. So, yeah, so basically, don't do it. Don't, don't stick your head in the bag of your powdered resin wood glue and always wear a mask when mixing and wear some goggles to help prevent you getting, um, well, dry eye syndrome. Anyway, that's my little kind of test. And this little meter here, you can get these on um, Amazon and eBay. I'm not going to say they're 100% accurate regarding the levels, but it gives you a fairly good indication. As a, uh, Basically, it's... Um, it's it's a gauge. It's a gauge to see whether or not your levels are higher inside the bag or while you're working than what's actually in the air around you. Anyway, thank you for watching my little video. And if you be most kind, give us a like and subscribe. And maybe click the little bell icon because then you get a warm fuzzy thing in your pocket and that'll be me uploading another video. And I'd really be excited about that. Bye. Oh, the button. Press the button. See, look, look. It's going down and down and down.